And we're just getting started here, Trey Hardy, as you see now there, 6 meters 23. For those who need the conversion, happy to give it to you. 20 feet, 5 and a quarter. But it's pretty easy. Sure it's a it world record. That's all you got to know. And here he goes. World record! We are not worthy. Hugging his father. This looks a lot like last year. Hugging his mother. His brothers are in the crowd. Everyone a witness once again. You see there the new standard that he just keeps raising the bar. He may think everyone in that stands. He might break someone's hand. <laughs> oh, wow. My goodness. You think he's excited? That's how much it means to him. That's what's special about Mondo Duplantis. He's broken so many world records, but keeps coming back time after time after time. Centimeter by centimeter, it doesn't matter. It means so much to him. He mentioned how easy it was to climb to the top and how hard it's been to stay on top. And my gosh, he's got so much more left in the tank. No one catches a ride quite like Mondo. My goodness. They're running out of room at the top of the standards there, Paul. I don't think it goes much higher than that. I think in some cities they actually have to request air clearance when he takes off. It's just staggering what he is capable of doing. You know, and he, growing up in Louisiana, his dad, Greg, who was also a vaulter, built him a makeshift pole vault runway and pit. He's been doing this for more than 10,000 hours, and he's putting it all together, and he's still in his early 20s, and a lot of people think it's going to keep going up. Yeah, Paul, what a roar it was, right, when we heard him, the crowd go nuts over another world record from you. Take us back to the jump, getting over that and just realizing you had done it again. I don't remember the jump. <laughs> you don't remember the jump? <laughs> I know, I'm dead, I'm dead serious. It's like, it, it, it happened like just a few minutes ago, honestly, and uh, I barely remember it. I just knew that uh, it was going to be really close, and I stayed on a little bit smaller pole than I thought that might be necessary to make it, so I knew that whatever when I was over the bar just to not panic because I knew I was gonna have to kind of squeeze over it a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know I just look up and the bar was still there and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it's hard to explain it's it's weird though wow well the reaction was priceless between you and your family in the stands what was it like to have everybody there and to go over and be able to greet them and celebrate the moment together and it was unbelievable I think it was the the most family I've had at a competition since high school so that's a uh, that's an unbelievable feeling Especially because, you know, those are the people that I want to make the most proud. And, um, yeah, even, I guess the pole, vault, the pole vaulters, they're my family as well. And to be able to kind of embrace the moment with them also. And uh, for me, you know, not, we're not only competitors, but we, we really are brothers and we have a great time together out there. And to see them embrace me like that after, you know, doing a jump. Yeah, breaking the old record, it's thankful. I, I just feel very thankful. What does it mean to end a season like this? And then how does it propel you into the Olympic year where everybody will now reset their goals and hope to get their highest, as I'm sure you will as well? Yeah, it could be, could be a worse way to end it. <laughs> so, uh, no, I feel, I, feel, I feel good about it. Nice to go out with a bang. And uh, now I guess uh, no matter what happens today, I was going to just kind of take a step back and refresh my mind a little bit, go on a little bit of a vacation and, you know, prep for next year. But, uh, for now, I don't know. I'm not thinking about next year that much. I'm going to enjoy this moment and uh, enjoy this with my family tonight. And, uh, you know, next year's next year. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mondo, we've enjoyed it as well. Enjoy your offseason, and we'll see you in the Olympic year. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.